Zeno of Cedium was a Hellenistic philosopher from Cedium, Cyprus. Zeno was the founder of the Stoic school of philosophy, which he taught in Athens from about 300 BC. Zeno's Quotes All things are parts of one single system, which is called nature, the individual life is good when it is in harmony with nature. Steal your sensibilities, so that life shall hurt you as little as possible. Man conquers the world by conquering himself. The reason why we have two ears and only one mouth is that we may listen the more and talk the less. Better to trip with the feet than with the tongue. No matter whether you claim a slave by purchase or capture, the title is bad. They who claim to own their fellow men, look down into the pit and forget the justice that should rule the world. Fate is the endless chain of causation, whereby things are, the reason or formula by which the world goes on. A bad feeling is a commotion of the mind repugnant to reason, and against nature. Well-being is attained by little and little, and nevertheless is no little thing itself. No evil is honorable, but death is honorable, therefore death is not evil. Happiness is a good flow of life. That which exercises reason is more excellent than that which does not exercise reason, there is nothing more excellent than the universe, therefore the universe exercises reason. The end may be defined as life in accordance with nature or, in other words, in accordance with our own human nature as well as that of the universe. All the good are friends of one another. Love is a god, who cooperates in securing the safety of the city. We have two ears and one mouth, so we should listen more than we say. The goal of life is living in agreement with nature. No one entrusts a secret to a drunken man, but one will entrust a secret to a good man, therefore, the good man will not get drunk. Follow where reason leads. The voice is the flower of beauty. A friend is our alter ego. Extravagance is its own destroyer. If being is many, it must be both like and unlike, and this is impossible, for neither can the like be unlike, nor the unlike like. Man seems to be deficient in nothing so much as he is in time. It is in virtue that happiness consists, for virtue is the state of mind which tends to make the whole of life harmonious. <laughs>